looking to see if there's audio there. Does that look like it's coming? Yeah, all right, sweet. One, two, three, four. Cool.
Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome here to Hensley Athletics Field for this Round 10 clash in Men's League One football. A match of the round. Got Akawa Sydney FC up against Bonnie Rig White Eagles. You see the players are all coming out onto the field at the moment. Just going through, making last-minute additions to the team list has come through very late again. So, but they're very well organised. See Sydney, or well, Hakawa Sydney FC at the moment. Sydney East are on the left hand side of the field in their royal blue, so royal blue shorts, socks, and jerseys. And you've got Bonnerick White Eagles over to the right hand side and traditional red jerseys, blue shorts, and white socks. So you catch this all here today on Football New South Wales TV on YouTube. You're with the Duck Man here today. Brilliant weather today out here at Hensley Athletics Field. People haven't been out here before. It is a synthetic park. Looks like it's very good to play on. Look forward to getting underway. We'll go through these lineups shortly once it's all organised. Looks like about to get underway. There we go, run the way here for this round 10 match. Men's League One game, match of the round. And Bonariga popping the ball around fairly high at the moment. Play back, just turned the ball over there. It's gone back there to Stefan uh, Dubicanon. Let the ball run. The referee's going to give a throw now to Hakawa Sydney East FC, or it's going to get a free, free kick here. We'll have a look at this. And throw in there. Back there to Georgia Milic. Has ball up, runs through to the keeper. Played out from the back there. Gone across the park. Look like they're just playing three in the back there with an anchor. Well, Drop one back. So see how they want to play today. Sydney East. So they're currently sitting uh, fourth on the ladder. So after games have been played so far this weekend, uh, they had a 2 0 win in the last match against MacArthur Rams. So I'll be very confident coming into this game. The last five games head to head, been two games apiece, and there's been a draw as well. So Bonnie Rig tell a slightly different story so far this year. Been struggling a little bit. Currently sitting in 12th. They're out of 16 down on 10th plate, uh, 12th in the ladder on 10 points there. So they've got a lot of work to do to get back into it. Be there when the whips are cracking later in the year. This ball comes out. Deflection there. It's a good chance they're going to have a throw here, Bonnie Rick. Options to go short, play it back. Kawa, Sydney East, try to clear the ball, turned it over. And we got the ball just gone long, the bomb one long down the field. Waiting for a foot race there. Samuel Shepard gets on it, it's dealt with and goes out. Still nil all here 
throw is going to be down the 18 yard box. through the lineups have got these all organised this round 10 match so Hikawa Sydney East look like this uh, got number one Nicholas Lowe in goals uh, number two Zachary Pillerman number three Mitchell Knight number four Connor Shattuck number seven Cam Philpot number eight Jordan Mackay uh, Michael uh, number nine Samuel Young number ten Nicholas Drummond number 14 Gabriel uh, Antonides uh, number 18, Jaden Tran. Number 19, Samuel Shepard. The ball runs away here. And it goes out for a throw. And the reserves bench have got Nicholas Tooley uh, and number 11. Number 12 is Galen Dorigo. Number 16 is Paul Barulo. Uh, number 17, Ginjiro Chiba. Number 20, Ryan James. And number 23, George Tucson Firth. They've got the ball just outside. Have a shot. Oh, it's not handled well by the keeper. Runs away. Going to see the first corner of the match here. Bounced in front of him. Didn't pick it up. Tough go. The Bonnie Rig side looks like this. So number one, Luke Turnbull. Experienced keeper two. Number three, Stefan Dubuchanan. Number seven, Emmanuel Gonzalez. Number ten, Mason Versi. Number 14, Dean Evans. Number 15, Tristan Vidic. Number 16, Samuel Galloway. 17, Daniel Bitter. Number 22, Ryan Adard. Oh, the ball breaks back here. Offside. Good call there by the near side AR. So number 22 is Ryan Adard. Number 30 is Georgie Milic. Number 99 is Stefan Nikolic. And their reserve bench looks like is Braden Andriotti. Uh, number four is Nikolai Krilich, Krilja. Uh, number nine is Radovan Pavasevich. Uh, number 23, Christian Torelli. Number 29, Cosimo Napi. And number 34, Alex uh, Vesevic. So there you go. Nil all is the score here. Luke Turnbull punches the ball up the field. So Bonnie Rignett needs to get back into the winning mode here. They lost 4-0 last week against Blacktown Spartans. I think that game was away from home as well. Pitch is in good condition today. Light breeze. And a decent little crowd starting to come in here. Hensley Athletic Field. Carl Sydney East FC play a little bit of a sit back style here. Let Bonnie Rig work the ball up the field. And now they're trying to play a bit of a high press and make them do something different. They're playing a very high line in defence too. Bonnie Rig keep the ball there. Stefan Nikolic goes back to his keeper. And they open the park up again, comes across. Stefan Dubicannon turns the ball over. We're going to see a goal kick. So these games are all live on Football New South Wales TV on YouTube. I looked at this table earlier today. And it's tight at the top, so Hakawa Sydney East FC, they'll be hoping to get the points here so they can keep pressure on competition leaders. Mount Drill Town Rangers, who were relegated last year from MPL 1, and also got Bulls FC. I had an impressive result last time I commentated their match. 6 1 winners against Canterbury Bankstown Berries. So both these sides need a win today to stay in touch. And got Hakawa Sydney East FC have a free kick. About 15 metres in. The Bonnerick's half. So there's a bit of a 
Nice breeze coming in from behind. The Bonnery keeper, Luke Turnbull. We'll see if this helps the ball sit up. Drops one right into the middle of the box and is taken cleanly. No problems there to deal with that one. Quick break, it's intercepted. And the Cow Sydney East FC, they play back to the keeper and build it up from the back again. So Bonnerick's have to sit back and let them play the ball forward. And they really want to keep their shape. Looks like utilising the 4 4 2 here. Put a bit of a press on now. Rush the keeper. It's a good move. So won the ball back for him there. Georgia Millich able to head it through. Had to bring it down on his chest there. It's gone across there. Mitchell Knight. Plays back to his centre half. Uh, and they're kind of shattered. A floater ball long. So I'm not sure that these long ball tactics are going to work with the big fullbacks they've got there. Bonnie Rig, big centre halves. Ball sits up there. Well, not the way to Tristan Vidic. He's a big unit in the back. Ooh, push. It's been intercepted here. Now they're going to take the quick counter. He's trying to open up the ball there. Ryan Adard loses control. Expresses the sentiments to the referee. And ball runs. And once again, Hikawa Sydney East FC. And the play out from the back. They really have no short passing options. So they're going to have to play between the lines. Or go long, keep trying to press the ball up the park. Even Bonnie Riggs playing a high line too, really. Defensively, float the ball down inside there. Tristan Vidic is on the mark, trying to set it up to have a shot outside the box here. Gabriel Antonides. They go back there. Build up again. Tried to go for a quick one too. Didn't work. Didn't read it. So it never followed through. After laying off the pass. Didn't think it was going to stay in. But it did. It's run out. Yeah. Steph and Duba can have played a long ball down the field. And it's running the touch. So nil all is the score here. That hands the athletics field. This beautiful Saturday afternoon, match it around men's league one fixture round ten match. Tristan Vidic goes across to his left back there, George Millage. He'll pull up slowly. Sam Galloway. Happy to play very wide. And they're going forward with the ball. Bonnery can compress when they're playing defensive. They nodded a ball through. It's been short back to the keeper. They need to watch these passes. They're not really making their way all the way back to the keeper. As you can probably see, where we're set up, hands the athletics field up in the grandstand in the back corner. It's actually a good spot. A bird's eye view. Parking is complicated. Probably the best word I could use to describe how parking is down the area coming here today. Cow Sydney East have a corner. Floated in just outside the six-yard box. Dealt with well. Bonnie Rick get the ball. Turn it over. Look at this. Looking for runners. Holds it up there. 
Mason Versi. He had a couple of runners down the right hand channel. If he had been able to lay off the pass, not able to get that ball away. Georgie Millich has the ball on the halfway line, looking for options. He's gone down the line. And they've gone for a switch straight across there. Samuel Galloway. Made the ball out to Manuel Gonzalez. Turns it back, comes across. Cuts it inside. It goes back. Shot on target. Saved there by Nicholas Lowe. Just trying to work out if he had been able to cut the ball back to Manuel Gonzalez inside. I think we'd be looking at a tap in. It's well covered by Nicholas Lowe, though. And Hakao Sydney East work their way back out again. Balls there with Jordan Michael. It's called Connor Shattuck. Floats one over the top. Well dealt with by Stefan Dubicannon. See Bonnie Rig overcommit anyone to press high. Mitchell Knight has the ball, he goes for a long ball into the corner, opens up. Zachary Pillimer drags back on his left foot, a bit of a cross. Gorak goes over the bar, well over the bar. Nice work to drag it down though. It was a high cross, it was going to be hard to put on target there for. Samuel Shepard. So at this stage, Henry's not considering the short ball options, just going long. And turn it over there, a little ball pull through. Nicholas Drummond trying to open up Samuel Shepard. And the ball runs out. It's nearly all still here. About 20 minutes into this match. We've got a free kick here from Bonnie Rigg. Sydney East uh, going to play an offside trap. Bonnie Rigg float one in near the top of the box. It's not a down. Opens up and looked good. Breaks out the Jaden Tran. Lays the ball. Down the line, Samuel Shepard. Oh, he gets inside his man here, cuts one back. Not dealt with, into the goal, 1-0. Jaden Tran. All started from a counter-attack back up the park. A little fruit ball down the line. Samuel Shepard was able to get around Stefan Dubacannon. Cut the ball back. Wasn't dealt with, it came out there. Jaden Tran picks up the first goal of the game, 1 0. Sydney Hikawa FC. Sydney East. No, Hikawa Sydney East FC are up at this stage. Stefan Dubacannon, a man who got pickpocketed, unfortunately. Has the ball there, plays forward. Brought down, controlled. Oh, keeps it in too. Nice work there. Georgie Millich nearly kept it in. <laughs> Stefan Dubacannon has it again. He floats a big long, way too long. 
runs away for a goal kick. The intent was right. You see his right winger open. Not able to bring him in. Lights coming onto the field, so it is getting moderately dark here. We'll get dark quickly when it does. Down here, East Gardens. Nicholas Lowe puts his foot through the ball, floats up over the halfway line, brought down. Cowa Sydney East retain the ball. They put a little through ball through. Samuel Shepard puts a run on. Well dealt with by Luke Turnbull. Rolls it out to his centre fullback there, Trist Tristan Vidic. He's a tall centre half too. Press there, gets the ball away. Nice ball too. Lays it off Manuel Gonzalez. Not quite able to. If he had been able to get a touch there for control, he's probably going to be able to open up his wingers. Turn it over. Now they're on the back foot. And down 1 0 at this stage. The bomber Brown, Brian Brown, is the coach here of Bonnie Rig. Along with Eduardo Penner. Free kick here. Right near the sideline. 15 metres out. Float one in. It's dealt with easily. Uh, try to head it back. Call for the handball. And a referee's seen it. He's got a free kick now. Dangerous position too. Just outside the D. Really don't want to concede here. Down 1-0. Jordan Michael's got the ball. Along with Jaden Tran. Who's the goal scorer of the first goal. So they've set a wall up. To cover the keeper's right hand post. I don't think Jaden Tran's going to have a go here. Oh, deflection. It's run away. It's deflections can go anywhere when it comes off a wall. Thankfully runs out for a corner. 1-0 at the moment. Hakawa Sydney East FC are up. Jaden Tran. It's going to drop one in the middle of the box. He does. Gone out the back. It's not at a cross. It's 2-0. Nice effort there, 2-0 here. Cal Sydney East FC floated the ball deep and headed it back into the middle. Picked up an unmarked man there. Looked like Samuel Shepard picked up his first for the game. In the middle, tapping. Ball back across the park there. Jordy Millich. Tap and go out. Stefan Nikolic. Try to open up. Turn it over again. Mitchell Knight goes back to his keeper there. Nicholas Lowe. There's no pressure. No one's pressing him, so he sits on the ball. Floats one out to the left winger there. Nicholas Drummond. Headed out, but they gained some uh, valuable territory. Going up the field. I'm feeling a lot more confident now, up 2-0. 25 minutes into this game. Comes back there, Nicholas Drummond.
dealt with there. Manuel Gonzalez puts the press on. Rushes to keep it into distributing the ball early. And nearly they do intercept it. Nice play by Bonnerig. The tempo's picked up now. Bonnerig not able to capitalize on the interception there with the ball. Carlos Sydney Easter just playing three at the back. It's one and a half and two very wide fullbacks when they're playing out from the back. Jaden Trent put on the ground there. It's given a bit of a bump and welcome to the game. Picked up the first goal. Back across the park there to Connor Shattuck. I like to go very wide to bring in Zachary Pillimer again. He helps set the first goal up by coming back onto his left foot. Crossed it in to Jaden Trent. And Bonnerick's turned it over there. Mason Versi. There we go. Shot on. Save there, Stefan Nikolic. Not able to get around the keeper there. Nicholas Slow deals with it easily. Nice catch and slows it down. Gives the team time to get back there. Connor Shattuck sits on the ball and now they open up the park. Mitchell Knight goes forward there. Jaden Tran, the scorer, for the first goal of the day. Right in there, Connor Shattuck has the ball again. They're demonstrating they're happy to control the tempo here at Cowell Sydney East FC. Late one long, knotted down there by Bonnerig. Jaden Trent's crunched another tackle clean to Jordy Millich. Let's him know he's in a challenge. Jordy Millich has the ball. Goes long and high down the line. Nodded across there for Emmanuel Gonzalez. Take advantage of that run out are not able to. And Mitchell Knight plays it long there down to number 10 Nicholas Drummond. They get it into the back corner. Cam Philpot offside again. So been caught offside a couple of times here. But they're still up 2-0. 30 minutes through the first half of this match. Match it around, round 10. Men's Football League 1 match. Between Hikawa Sydney, East FC and Bonnerig White Eagles. Run at up, puts a little half volley through the ball. Carlos Sydney East turn it over. Bonnery get it back. Oh, it was a robust challenge there from Samuel Shepard. <laughs> Stefan Nicholas stays on his feet there. Jordy Millich goes out with the ball. And Zachary Pillimer has the ball. Just short of the halfway line. Looks for options. Goes to Jaden Tran. And they might give a bump or two to Jaden Tran. Let him know that they're there today. Here we go. Stefan Nikolic was taken on his outside man. Mitchell Knight turned it over. All the action down the left now. Ryan Adar comes back. Tries to float one in. Bit too long. Taken on chest by Nicholas Lowe.
kicks out through the ball. Walk down there. Stefan Dubicanon nearly turned it over again. Had to be put out. So he's actually involved in the second goal, unfortunately. Stefan Dubicanon. Got outside the man, the Cal Sydney East, and then cut the ball back. And able to score from that. They had the ball back across the tap him, Samuel Shepard. They dragged the ball back there. Bonnerick retained the ball here. Go forward with a quick counter attack straight away. Run out of floats, one in again. Trying to play in Emmanuel Gonzalez. They let it run there. Cal Sydney East. Nicholas Lowe takes it back and across there. Kill some time. Massive boot down the field. Puts on a foot race there. Samuel Shepard with the keeper. Run through to Luke Turnbull with no dramas. He rolls it out, Stefan Dubicanon again. Trying to float the ball over the back. Find space in behind the fullbacks on the outside. Had no joy so far. Well, a bit of a cynical tackle there, Stefan Dubicanon. Slides him, won the ball. Like studs up. Referee's going to have a chat to him. Don't think we'll see any yellows, but he's definitely telling him watch the way he's coming into the challenges. Tap and go, trying to do a one two there, not able to play it in. Ryan Adar goes across to Mason Versi, still gets a ball, takes a little chop from behind. Bonnie Riggs slow it down. A yellow card there. Jordan Michael. The referee's not happy. You might tell. The blues whistle to bring play back on. I need to record that yellow card there. Ball with Dean Evans. Back to Tristan Vidic again. This park, Ryan Adard turns the ball over. Daniel Pidal tries to play through the middle. And Carlos in the east. Open up, get the ball around the outside there. Nice ball there. Nicholas Drummond cuts it back. Stefan Dubicanon cleans it up and they send it on its way. Connor Shattuck plays Nicholas Drummond again, gets around his man, tries to cut inside, runs it out. So we're going to see a goal kick. 35 minutes into this match, Luke Turnbull plays short. And Carl Sydney FC went on the job. I oh, turned it over here. He tried to go for a bit of a chop and Daniel Tran, the system referee, seen that. I'm not sure we'll have a yellow card for this, but we'll see a free kick. Twenty-five metres out, six metres to the top right hand side of the eighteen yard box. The referee talks to Stefan Nikolic. Out just retreating away the ten metres from the ball. Jaden Tran looks at his options, floats one in, is coming to the back post again, uh, runs for a, ran away and runs out. Going to have another corner.
Shane Tran's going to whip it in again. As high, long again. Likes to float him out the back. Volley ball, and it's over the bar there. Nicholas Drummond not able to get over it. So Hikawa Sydney East FC are up 2 0 at the moment here at Hensley Athletic Field against Bonnerig White Eagles. Big turn ball. Really looking for options. Don't have too many there. Hikawa Sydney East calling for a free kick. Floats one in again. Nicholas Drummond gets outside his oh Fred's the needle. Late call. It was the right call though. Samuel Shepard went early before the ball was laid off. The near side assistant referee saw this and made a good call. Jordy Millage heads the ball down lines, run out. Zachary Pilmer has the ball. And looking for his options. Needs to look down line or inside. Tries to go long. It's intercepted by the tall timber that I have here in Bonnerig. Tristan Vidic heads it away. Dealt with for Jordy Miller chair. Stefan Nikolic has the ball. Jordy Miller plays one through. It's a little bit of a press. Keepers coming out of the box. Turn it over. Not a great pass there. Follow up from Samuel Galloway. Oh, floats one in. Nice ball. Run through for Gabriel Antonides. If he had been able to control his first touch there, might have been able to get something and turn that into a scoring opportunity but have got the corner anyway Jaden Tran been flown them in line he's gone short this corner was flat to the front post so really floated in towards the Front post there in six yard box. What a mixed bag of tricks. Jordan Michael kicks the ball out. So he's already received the yellow card today. Cowa Sydney East currently up 2 0 here against Bonnie Rig. 40 minutes into this game. Match it around fixture. At this stage, Chicago Sydney East FC, they'll be very happy with this. In their pursuit to keep up with the leaders there, Mount Drill Town Rangers and also Bulls FC. Bulls Academy, who are very good when I watch them play against Canterbury, Bankstown Burrows the other week. 6-1 winners they were. Look at that, Nicholas Lowe. Plays all the tricks of the trade, lets it run all the way to the byline, picks it up and brings it back. Manuel Gonzalez is going to stay there, make the keeper play out. Kicks through the ball, has gone long again. Oh, Samuel Shepard comes back inside, headed it back to the keeper. Taken well there, Luke Turnbull. Floats it down the field. Just trying to play in Daniel Bitter. We need to try to get a goal here before half time to stay in this game. Bonnie Rig. Kaos in the east floating another ball down. It's going to commit Luke Toon. Ball to come out. He has. He's dealt with it well. Headed on further by Samuel Galloway that time. The Carroll Sydney East have a throw. 2 0 up at this stage. 
late in the first half. It's about two minutes till half time. And a decent crowd down here on a good Saturday afternoon. Very sunny, nice weather today in Sydney. Ryan Adard has the ball. I was able to play in. Right idea, not able to quite get that ball through the gap. Playing his winger, Daniel Bitter. The ball goes through over the top there. Really fancy chances playing in Samuel Shepard against Stefan Dubacannon here. Tristan Vidic has the ball, goes back to the keeper again. And the play out forward there. Samuel Galloway floats one in down the line. The Jordy Miller who's gone up. Nice cross. It's headed on. It goes over the bar. It's the first good chance they've had for a while there. Bonnie Rig need to get some more of them. Carlos in the East, they really have controlled the tempo of this match. Done a good job with it too. Nicholas Lowe. He's been pumping him long today. Happy to do it again. Tristan Vidic, good clearance header. Gets one down. Daniel Bitter nearly gets there. Connor Shattuck plays it out to the line though. So Bonnie Rick not need to try to get something here and now before half time. Had limited opportunities so far this half. Only had two. Two real shots on target at all. So to run low on time, Jordy Millage. Floats one in. It's cleared up there by Connor Shattuck. Number 14 there, Dean Evans. Cut one back. It's run out for a corner. This might be the best chance right heading up to half time now. Not long to go. Got their big defenders in the box now. Stefan Dubicannon and uh, number 15, Tristan Vidic, makes his run inside, floats out the back, dives for a two, just missed it, ran free and clear of everyone. Completely threw his body into it, hoping to get on to the end of that. Would have been a brilliant goal too. The crisis averted as it ran clear. Slow goes long again. And Galloway puts one over the top there. Emmanuel Gonzalez. Tristan Vidic up on top of his man there, Nicholas Drummond. Not able to get on top of it here. Play back to Connor Shattuck there. Gone straight through the middle. Nice ball through to Samuel Young. It's gone out. The ball goes back. And Bonnery go all the way back to Luke Turnbull, the keeper. Lobs one forward. Picked up here by Mason Versi. Goes back to Stefan Dubicannon again. But there's Samuel Galloway. Floats it in. Able to play in here. You go Ryan Adard. Floats one over at the top. It's too far. You need to swing it a little bit wider playing his right winger. The Carlos in the East. FC. Have a quick counter. They turned it over. Rides out the challenge there. Yeah. Nicholas Drummond 
distributes the ball, calls for free kick. Jaden Tran cuts inside, looks his options, opens up on the top of the box, have a slash, it goes over. 2 0 just before half time. It is currently the Cowa Sydney East FC. Everybody Rick here at Hensley Athletics Field down at East Gardens. Luke Turnbull hits it long again. Oh, a robust challenge there, Stephen Dubuchanan. Referee's seen it. They're going to have a free kick here. Not happy that he's gone through the back of the attacking player. The second similar challenge done today. So far, remains free of any penalties, yellow cards. Connor Shattuck floats it down the line there. Cam Philpot keeps it right on the byline there. Plays it back there, Nicholas Drummond. Oh, he cuts outside of his man. Floats one back. Oh, come on to the front post. Nearly an own goal. Stephen Dupacan has stepped over it and they come back. Luke Turnbull not expecting it. Came on to the front post. He's had to save it to go out. Just whip one in across the goals. Been pretty successful so far. Floating them into the back. For Hakao Sydney East. Two nil up. Have the ball in a dangerous position. System referee checks the ball. Well, I think it might be too flat. I'm not sure it's the case. Zachary Pilma has the ball. Throws it and looks short. Looks like a foul throw. They turn it over Bonnie Rig. There we go. That is half time here at Hensley Athletics Field. 2 0. Carl Sydney East FC currently up over Bonnie Rig White Eagles here. Been a good game so far. Tempo has been completely dominated by Hakao Sydney East FC. Bonnie Rick going to need to change things up. They've had a very limited number of chances so far in this half. And it's been all smooth sailing at this stage for Hakao Sydney East FC. First goal picked up by Jaden Tran. And a nice little goal went into the back left hand corner. And the second goal was from Jaden Tran laying in a cross out the back. And the ball came back to Samuel Shepard, who got a tap in there. Now, make sure you stick around for the second half of this game of football on New South Wales TV. You're here with the Duckman, live down here at Hensley Athletics Field. All on football on New South Wales TV for 2024.
right, welcome back for the second half of this match. At Hensley Athletics Field, Hikawa Sydney East FC against Bonnerig White Eagles and Hikawa Sydney East FC are currently up 2-0. After two good goals in the first half, one to Jaden Tran to get the scoring underway. Got a goal into the back left-hand corner from outside the 18 yard box. Nice goal, or well, just inside the 18 yard box actually. And the second goal, Jane Trent actually set up and Samuel Shepard got a bit of a tap in. Be happy with that as well. Connery need to change something up here. I'll change the tempo up. So they can get a goal, need to get a goal early to get back into this game. So Carl Sydney East FC have dominated possession and the tempo. Yeah, happy to sit back. Sit back with the ball and play behind the ball too. So not pressing high all the time. Don't need to do that. They're playing a bit of a high line in defence. About to get back underway here. So you're with the duck man for the second half of this round 10 match around fixture. New South Wales League One men's match. It'll make a big difference to both these sides. Bonnery, as I said, start the game currently sitting in 12. The Cal Sydney East FC, they get the win here and they'll stay in touch with the leaders. Mount Town Rangers, who were relegated from MPL 1 last year. And also Bulls FC Academy squad. Bonnery have the ball there now their traditional red jerseys, white socks, and royal blue shorts. Running left to right across the screen. The lights are fully on here now. Got a nice little ball there. Mason versus not able to control it. So it plays the ball through offside there. Manuel Gonzalez doesn't chase the run. So it would have been offside. Nicholas Slow plays the ball out again to Connor Shattuck. A bit of patient style here for Carl Sydney East FC. Bonner are going to need to change how they play this half of him away a free kick. Given an innocuous challenge there. Bonner need to get all the chances they can get at the moment. Turned it over here now. And Sam Shepard's on his bike there. Trying to outrun Ryan Adada. Cuts in around the outside of him. Cuts it back. Thinks about his options. Tried to take him back on and work with the very, very small angle on the front post. Have been able to get a corner. Probably should have distributed the ball across the middle of the box. He have runners coming in. Might have been able to play him in there. To pick up their third goal. 2-0 up at this stage and in a good position. Jaden Tramp puts the ball down here. Really whipped in a good mixed bag of crosses here and corners. It's gone long for most of them, so you can see most of the players set out long. He floats it out the back again. It's dealt with here by Bonnerig. Mason Versi gets on the ball and plays it out. Back to safety there. So see Dean Evans in a spot on his own there on top of the box. Just covering the cross or through ball. He gets on it and distributes it out wide now. Monterey float one down the line. Kind of Shattuck heads it clear. Drummond gets grass there. Zachary Kilmer 
turns the ball over. Bonnie would keep it. They're going to have to play a high aggressive tempo here. Mason Versi cuts around the outside of his man. Oh, he cuts back. Nice work here. Goes for the shot taken by Nicholas Lowe. Could have looked at some options there. He had a couple on the top of the box too. Nicholas Lowe kicks out long. Finds Nicholas Drummond. Holds it up, takes it right down to the line there now. Got a corner about one metre out. 2 0 up. Hikawa Sydney East FC are up against Bonnerig. Here on a very nice Saturday afternoon, heading into the evening. It's been a bit of a breeze. Coming from right across Botany Bay into the field. Andonides, grass, good slide tackle there. Rick, number sixteen, Samuel Galloway. Ball's come out, tried to line up another shot, it's come off Bonnie Rig and runs away for another corner. So 20 and again, Jaden Tran. Not dealt with, floats around the top of the box there. Seven. Seven Duba Cannon tries to deal with it, runs away. Going to have another corner. Bonnerig are not happy about this. Flow 29 oh, comes around to the front of the box there. Dealt with well by Luke Turnbull. Punches it away. Sam Shepard turns around, volleys it over the top of the post and goes out for a goal kick. Shepard, Bonnerig want to move the ball and move it quickly. Manuel Gonzalez turns it over to win it. has the ball, plays back there, Nicholas Lowe again, Mason Versi puts the pressure on and he pumps it long played back there by Jordan McHale again Connor Shattuck, plays with Jordan McHale nice little ball there Gabriel Antonides crosses one across the goals back Nicholas Drummond turns it over and Bonnerig now break Mason Fursey has him on the hop. Gets stripped of the ball. This might hurt here. Gabriel Antonides. 
Stays inside, looking for a runner. Tries to play Nicholas Drummond. Open space. Out to the winger. Gets outside his man. Shot goes out. We've got a goal kick. Very quickly able to turn defence into attack here. Let's see what Bonnery can do. Change things up in the second half. Ryan Adar plays out to the winger. Not able to keep it in. Sydney East play out on the ground there. And Evans had the ball, has gone back and across. Gets the ball again. It's going to be the distribution outlet through the midfield and they could spark it up here for Bonnie Rick. Tristan Vidic plays across here. Mason Versi again. Stefan Dubicannon. Comes out there, Samuel Galloway. Float one in the top of the box. This is a good chance here. Cuts back inside. Being touched, runs away. Can't help but think that looked like that was building up to very likely shot on target and potential goal. Tristan Vidic wins both those challenges there. Able to head the ball away twice. Runaway Nicholas Drummond takes it way down into the corner. Gets outside his man there. Jordy Millage. Wonder if float one across over the top there. Daniel Bitter. Tries to get outside his defender. Gabriel Andonides. He does win the ball back. Nice work there. Oh, Bonnery, right winger. Goes back there. Gabriel Andonides nearly keeps it in too. Stefan Dubacannon thought he was going to take the throw, but he decides not to. Leave it there for Sam Galloway. Crozen comes back to him too. I have to go square across the park. I want to open it up now. Dean Evans does just that. That's a Tristan Vidic. Across now, Jordy Millich. Cuts back, trying to make room there. Stephen Nikolic. Comes down here, Daniel Bitter again. Oh, nice cross. Floats across, couldn't finish it off. That up there, that's probably been the best chance they've had of a game so far. So close. Manuel Gonzalez reached his foot out. Hoping he'd get a touch. Probably would have been a goal too from that range. Perfect cross, flat. Looping away from the keeper. Not to be. The score remains 2 0. Looks like the system referee must have flagged offside. And actually got a free kick. Let's go through the ball there. Galloway pumps along Connor Shattuck. Chase down there by Daniel Bidart. You can see offside. Missed anyway. It's offside by about two metres there when the ball played through. You get the feeling. Bonnerig just need 
half a chance. They're starting to get into some open room. Open spaces here. Who's out there? Nicholas Drummond. Plays it back there. Jordan Michael. Oh, shot on target. It's tapped in there. 3-0. Offside. The assistant referee seen it. Sam Shepard denied a goal. Probably good call. So after the ball's come back, the other players were in front of the last defender. Let's see how Bonnie Rig react to this. Already seen an increase in tempo. They needed a call like that to go their way too. Tristan Vidic got a lot of pressure there from Sam Shepard. It was just a night of goal. Turnbull goes long. Connor Shaddix on the ball. Play short there. You can see, a, see a change in the tempo of the game here. Nicholas Drummond. Cut around the outside. And float one in. Oh, it's a goal! Not to be denied there. Unbelievable stuff. Jaden Tran left open in the top of the box. Whipped one in onto the back post. Beat Luke Turnbull. Picked himself up a brace now. Second goal for the day. 3-0. Been very, very good. Jaden Tran, happy to cut back inside too. And he's not afraid to have a go. You can see that by two goals, two good quality goals too. Now Bonnie Rig really have to change the tempo. They have to chase this game, but want to stay in this. Cut the ball back there. Nicholas Drummond, a little flick and go again. Tried to play in Sam Shepard, who quite possibly would have been offside again. And the ball's played. Mason Versi comes back to help out. The defensive end for Bonnie Rig. Tried to thread one through, not able to get it on the turn. That's a near inch perfect pass, too. Sam Shepard was flat-footed, not expecting that ball to be played through. So, what does Bomber Brown do now to get Bonnie Rigg back into this game? A versatile bench. And they need to get a goal and get one quick. Slow one down the line here. Cut back, drives for this goal. Turned over there, brought out by Samuel Young. Carlos in the east, trying to open up the field. Nearly get it to Nicholas Drummond. Runs free. It's the right idea. So we've seen a big increase in tempo now in the last five minutes. Both sides. The Bonnery are chasing the game. And Carlos in the east. He can sense if they get another goal, that'll probably seal it. Got the hunger that comes when you're up 3 0. Nick Turnbull flicks it away. Sorry, Nicholas Lowe. Plays one ball in there. Gabriel Andonides runs away, runs clear, one on one with the keeper. Luke Turnbull covers it. Quickly hits the space there. Stefan Nikolic gets after the ball. It's good cover by the keeper. Showed a lot of experience to shut down the angle. Block the shot. 
Navigo would have been disastrous. Cam Philpot wrestles away, able to get the throw. Zachary Pillema has the ball. He's wandering further and further up the field. He goes short of the throw. Jaden Tran again. So these games are live on Football New South Wales TV. Christian Torelli's on the field now, number 23 there for Bonnie Rig. I think some of the changes we've seen in tempo already. down the line cleared out there by Nicholas Lowe Sam Galloway comes up the field Tries to open up his man, plays in Stefan Nikolic, whips one in. And they had to try to get some shots on target from around the 20 25 meter range if they can. Oh, well, Sam Shepard runs through here, beats the keeper. Sam Shepard asked the question there. Turnbull come. It's a fair question asked to Luke Turnbull come out. 50 50 challenge on the tackle. Got up. Ball's touched him on his chest. That's how the referee has seen it. And Bonnery bring the ball up now. Christian Torelli has the ball. Oh, nice through ball. Here we go. Not able to keep it in. Sydney East tried to play the offside trap there nearly got burned now playing a high defensive line anyway but that's the spot you want to hit those balls down the right or left flank and you don't want it to be too heavy you want to be short so the keeper can't come out and deal with it Literally dropping the ball in just behind the line. Carl Sydney East. The ball there, Bonnery flick it over again. Number nine there, Samuel Young. It's the ball and Jaden Trance changed sides again with Nicholas Drummond. Yeah, Daniel Bitter plays in Christian Torelli. Cuts one across. It's dealt with and goes out for the throw. Sam Galloway. Very short here. Crosses one deep out the back. Floats along. Stefan Nikolic. Carl Sydney East thought he had hands in the back of the defender. That would keep the ball across, not one good. Christian 
Pirelli takes the throw, goes back to Mason Versi. Oh, it dances around, turns the ball over, going to get a free kick. It's about 35 metres out here. In a good position. So the question will be, are you going to take a shot or are you going to float it into the top of the box? Going to float one in, sits up, or... Oh. Outside there, whipped it in, gone wide. Nice cross there by Dean Evans anyway, but headed clear. Not able to get over the top of it. Tristan Vidic and Stefan Dupacanon go for it for all these. Now the referee speaks to the keeper. Knows there's a bit of gamesmanship on at the moment. Nicholas Lowe. The whistle tells him to play, bring it back on. Pumps it long again. Gonna have a free kick here to Bonnie Rig. Referee's gonna bring the ball back here. Oh, he's chatting to the Hakawa Sydney East players. in particular. Speaking to Bonnie Rick player too, Mason Versi. Looked like he resented the challenge. Oh, thread it in. A nice spot here, turn it over. Sam Shepard gets on it. Want to get it again. Now they're playing with some confidence. And now they're down 3-0. Need to need some possession. Need to get the ball into these areas. Mason Percy comes back across here. Dean Evans. Evans are back up there. Tristan Vidic. Back step and do the cannon. Case ball now. Hikawa Sydney East FC. Really not playing a press at all. They effectively parked the bus to sit him back. Nice ball. Sam Galloway gets it in a good position here. Tries to go for one two. Christian Torelli. Plays it out there to Dean Evans. Comes back. Mason Versi has a crack. Good save. Nice shot too. Off the left foot. It's going down into that bottom right hand corner as well. Nicholas Lowe. Was on point there. Stephen Dupacannon heads it away. Sam Galloway gets back and keeps it in. Daniel Young able to head it clear. And here we go, we're going to see a foot race here. Bonnery Garn able to get it. Daniel Bitter. Looks like he's got to turn the pace. Oh, intercepts the ball. Puts a press on. Sam Galloway. There's one to Christian Torelli. Opens it up. Dean Evans goes across the park. Back is starting to get a much higher percentage of possession now in good position too. Bonnie Rick still need to get some shots on target. Down 3 0. Sam Galloway. Oh, that's a nice ball there. Christian Torelli cuts it back. Looked across and dealt with well. Oh, Sam Shepard skips the tackle. 
Stephen Du Buchanan puts his shoulder in. Getting manhandled pretty hard here. <laughs> the referee sees the last challenge. He gives a free kick. Blowing up about some of the unwanted attention he's got while he put the chase on the start off with. Substitutions made by both teams here. It's been a good game. It's had a very dominant display tell the last 15 minutes of Hikawa Sydney East FC. Bonnerick needs to be dominant. They've got to chase the game here. Here, Cal Sydney SFC. Oh, there, Christian Trelli put the heat on now. Number 12's out there, Galen Dorigo. Cal Sydney SFC. Nice run here. Try to thread the ball through. It's cleared up there by Sam Galloway. Stephen with the cannon. Is that Sam Galloway? I'll just keep it in. Slide tackle there. Sam Galloway's not happy with the referee's call there. Jane Tram hook one across the park. Two goals tonight. Very good display from Jaden Tram so far. Smash tonight. Floated one way down the back there. Luke Turnbull gets on to it quickly, brings it out. Get 
around. Nicholas Drummond keeps it in. Cuts back. Tries to have a go. Not able to get onto it. It wasn't Nicholas Drummond at all. It was actually George Tusum first. Galloway floats one up again. Dealt with for Connor Shattuck. Had a good game tonight, Connor Shattuck. Nicholas Drummond out here. It's running a muck with the ball there. Paul Arulo. They're happy to go back now. Trying to open some more room. Some robust challenges coming in now from Bonnie Rig. Time's not on their side. They're down 3 0. Alan Garriga gets the ball, goes back to Connor Shattuck. Play it short again. Stephen Dubicannon. There's Mason Versi. And switch across the field there. Come up the park. Mr. Slow brings it back. Time is on their side. It's not long to go in this game. 3 0 up. The Cowell Sydney East FC currently are at this stage against Bonnie Rig. Challenge there, Tammy Galloway on Galen Dorigo, Jaden Tran, Money Man goes back to Galen Dorigo again. And short here, looks for option to play in Nicholas Drummond again. Yeah, Bonnery punched the ball long and runs clear, so we're going to see a goal kick. Another substitution here, so good stint there, Jaden Tran. 
like he's about to be substituted. Definitely go close to player to match today. One goal, set one goal up. Mixed bag of crosses and passes and corners. Been a nightmare to deal with today. Drew rig player in that done an outstanding job here for Hakala Sydney FC. Bonerick bring it forward again. Stefan Vidic keeps it in. Go back across to Stefan Bubicanon. Mason Versi brings it up. He's got to throw everything at this now. Bonnie Rig. Tried to throw one through there. Nicola Grilja. Breaks turns, volleys it, it's eight by the keeper. That was a good shot too. It's been the story of the day. Christian Torelli, one touch turn, bang. Good save by Nicholas Lowe. Rides out the challenges there. Cal Sydney East FC. Been a very dominant performance today. So from what I've seen, the top three sides in this division are very strong. It's going to go all the way to the wire. Ball cuts out here. Galen Dorigo floats one out the back. Nods it back down. Bonnerick deal for Christian Torelli gets it. And he gets on his bike. And a bit of chase down Christian Torelli. Dean Evans plays away. Oh, it doesn't get onto it. The Cal Sydney East FC have a quick return this into a counter. Nicholas Drummond had a pretty good game too. Lined up a shot. Moves across to Jordan Michael. Still got it there. Picked up yellow card in the first half. Jordan. Paul Arulo has it. out there, George Tucson first. Galen Dorigo has the ball again. And they've gone short there. And Bonnie aren't mucking around now. Trying to get on it fast. Here we go. Daniel Bitter. Oh, does a little step over, gets inside. Gonna have to chase this one hard. Not able to get onto it. It's Christian Torelli. It's all the press on. Let's give a shove in the back and gave one back there. Ginjaro Chira. Alan Dorigo plays back. Connor Shattuck had a good game too. Been a solid performance. By Sydney. Carl Sydney East FC. The score was 2 0 at half time to Carl Sydney East FC as well. Pretty much controlled and dominated possession and the tempo of the game for, for the whole game. Chiller. Receives another robust challenge there. Dalen Dorigo has the ball. And he goes long. That's a good throw. 72 for the cannon. And lay the ball away. Dean 
Evans kept it alive now. Stefan Nikolic. Back and across. Dean Evans. Sam Galloway. Christian Torelli tries to flick it through. He's going across the face of the goal and tried to pop in a little ball that's curling away. Nicola Kruja gets on the ball there. Dean Evans has it again. Place ball in Mason Versi. Comes back. Nicola Kruja goes out to Sam Galloway. Whips across in. Flat. Delta sits up. Just outside the box there. Dean Evans looked at having a go. Didn't take the option, got it again. He's going to distribute out to Sam Galloway. He's hoping to whip another cross in. Goes like, this is not a bad cross either. Flipped it away. Out of danger. Dean Evans threads it through. Not able to get a shot off here. for a goal kick there. And Nicholas Lowe. Dive for ball, he didn't need to. So, literally killing time now. Yeah, very happy with this result tonight. 3-0 at this stage. Cal Sydney East FC. and then quick layoff but not able to do anything with it. Christian Torelli flicks it away. Oh, the one oh, here we go. Nearly gets outside him. Got outside the keeper. Got around Stefan Dubicannon there. Thought George Tucson Firth was going to get him for his first. Saving the end by the keeper. We've got a corner. Looking at short options. That's off the cards now. Cam Philpot's going to whip one in. Nah, still looking for a short option. Tackle Ginjiro. Chiller. Oh, nice work there retain the ball oh look at this so put on a bit of a clinic Luke Turnbull plays short there to Dean Evans sit him back that's it. That's all she wrote. 3-0 here at Hensley Athletic Field. Hakawa Sydney East FC. Three goals to nil against Bonnerick White Eagles. This round 10 fixture. So Hakawa Sydney East FC, they have been very dominant since the start today. The scoring got underway, started off. Jaden Tram picked up the first goal. Got the ball early in the first half 
in top of the 18-yard box and slotted one away. The bottom left-hand corner. And then they're able to get around for the second go around. Stefan Dubicannon. That was Nicholas Drummond who did that. Cut the ball back. And then Jaden Trent with the ball across and uh, it's actually Samuel Shepard who picked up the second goal and Jaden Trent picked up the third goal as well. Curled it into the top left corner around the keeper. 3-0. Been a very dominant display today. Bonnerick tried to pick the tempo up in the second half. It's a big task to come back from 3-0 down. And they weren't able to capitalise on anything there. It's a very strong performance though. Shane, they're going to be able to match it with the two strongest sides in the competition at the moment here. The Cowell Sydney East FC. So Mount Druid Town Rangers are leading the competition. It's New South Wales Football League 1 competition and uh, Bulls FC Academy squad. They are very good too. They look very sharp on the commentated. The match against Canterbury Bankstown Berries. They were very good. So at this stage early in the season looks like it might be a three-way race see who gets the title here plenty of football to be played though so i hope you enjoyed the match here on football new south wales tv there's plenty more to come this season and plenty more good quality matches in this division been with the duck man out here hensley athletic field keep on ducking everyone have a fantastic weekend and i'll catch you all again next time